Hey everyone, welcome to my 17 week bump date. It's really hard to keep track of how many weeks I am just because of this whole coronavirus and being, you know, a stay at home order and everything, every week just feels the same. But yes, I am 17 weeks. Baby is the size of a game controller, like a PlayStation game controller, which I thought was funny. It's also, also the size of creme creme brulee. That's hard to say. <laughs> it's also the size of a turnip. Baby is the size of a chipmunk. So lots of things to compare baby to this week. Baby's senses are starting to form this week. The brain is starting to coordinate the heartbeat on baby. The umbilical cord is growing stronger. Baby is now five inches long and the bones are starting to get stronger. So lots going on with baby. The big thing this week is I have finally felt baby move. It's weird because when I, for my first pregnancy, when I felt baby move, um, I knew it right away. Like I knew that was baby moving and like I could pinpoint it. This time, like I've been feeling things here or there, but it's like very light and it's very inconsistent. And so I had to kind of like convince myself that that was baby and not just like gas or anything. But yes, I have felt baby. I feel him or her um, usually in the evening for the most part, but I really don't feel them that much. Like it's very inconsistent. So I'll, I'll be happy when I start feeling them like more consistently. I did find baby's heartbeat again, so everything's going well with that on my home Doppler um, because I didn't have my. Uh, doctor's appointment last week. I was so excited for my anatomy scan just to like get to see baby for 45 minutes. Like, uh, I can't wait for that. It'll be interesting when I do have my appointment though with this whole like corona thing going on, just like what the procedures will be. I know it'll be totally different. Um, I'm assuming they'll keep the patients in the waiting room to a minimum and um, have a lot of sanitizing going on, so it'll be very interesting when I go. My doctor's office is located kind of in like an outpatient hospital kind of setting, so it'll be interesting to see like what precautions they have, because I know like in addition to my OB's office, like there's a lot of different offices going on, like sleep studies and like a ton of other things, so it'll be interesting like are they going to check my temperature at the door, or like I wonder how all that's going to work. I have been really tired lately. Um, I've been trying to get good sleep and like the past couple weeks I don't have a problem falling asleep but a lot of times I'll get woken up in the middle of the night whether it's Anthony coming to bed or I have to pee several times and it's always a hard thing for me to fall back asleep so I think that's where I'm losing a lot of my sleep. Um, I try not to drink too much coffee. I did splurge on one pop this week. I haven't had pops since. I found out I was pregnant, and so I did have one. Unless you count root beer, I've had a couple root beers, but like caffeinated pop I've not had, and so I did splurge and get a Coke the other day, and it was so good, because <laughs> um, I've been craving pop. I've also really been craving ice cream, but that's mostly because I gave it up for Lent, but one more week, and then I get my ice cream, and I'm so pumped for that. <laughs> I've been super hungry. That's kind of like the main symptom this week, um, is I'm just hungry all the time. Like can't skip meals, I'll get super hungry and cranky if I don't eat. Um, I don't snack too much, I just really want like big main meals is what I've been noticing. I've been dealing still with sneezing a whole ton and like early in the morning when I first wake up I'll have like a lot of like runny nose and stuff um, and so I think it's allergies. Um, the only thing it could be is like that pregnancy cold that you can get, so it could be that too, but I'm thinking it's just allergies, like this is high allergy season, so I think that's just what I have. Um, and we've been trying to get out more because we're stuck in our house. So I think that's it, but man, it's so annoying. I sneeze all the time, um, my runny nose, it's just it's so annoying. <laughs> I've been getting headaches more often, um, and I have it a lot of times to where I'll take medicine and then like the medicine won't do anything and I'll still have a headache as the day goes on so that's been tough. I have noticed that my hair has been growing a lot faster. Um, I have like little hairs that grow out of my chin and stuff. It's like a normal thing. 
and usually I don't have to shave that like too often but lately it's been like every other day that I need to shave so it's um, definitely growing a lot faster. Um, my baby bump is getting bigger I will show you guys although I do have a loose shirt on today so you'll have to excuse that but I will try and pull it tight. So here is the bump I'm pulling it as tight as I can. So definitely getting bigger like you can definitely tell I am pregnant. Um, it looks pretty big right there, I think. So yes, this is the bump. This is a regular shirt, so I'm still in regular shirts. However, I do wear maternity pants. I could not go back to my old pants. Heck no. <laughs> the other problem with this whole corona thing, like, you can't go shopping, and I have, I still don't have many, um, short, short, or summer outfits, um, at all, for maternity-wise. So I'm a little worried about that, and I can't really go shopping that so I guess I'll have to go online. Um, I'm still looking for a maternity bathing suit as well. I haven't really found any that I like. A lot of the ones that I found are just boring and plain. Um, so I am looking for maternity summer outfits. I haven't been having too many crazy dreams. Um, I did have a dream that my baby was a boy so I wonder if that means something although I still am thinking it's a girl. Um, we're going to have the gender reveal one week from today. We will have the gender reveal, so I'm very excited for that. I'll probably, probably in, the, in my next video, depending on when I do it, I will know the gender and we'll let you guys know. I probably will be able to. So stay tuned for that for the next video because I'm very excited to find out what baby is. I'm a little worried though because, so I did this gender I, I found out the gender through sneak peek, which is like an at-home blood test that you can do. And after we found out the results and things, I got a little worried because I saw a lot of reviews saying that their results were false and ended up finding out that their baby was the other gender. So that could still happen. Um, I'm not going to like buy anything or like get my heart set on a name or anything until the end of this month when I do go to the anatomy scan. But until then, I'm just going to take it for what it is. I still have a lot of saliva in my mouth, which is really annoying. But I remember that from last pregnancy too. Um, my emotions have been going really crazy lately and I'm not quite sure if that's pregnancy related or if it's just like me going crazy because we're stuck in our house all the time. But I have noticed like I'll get very angry very fast, especially at Anthony. Um, and so I'm trying to like keep a rein on my emotions, but it's hard. <laughs> the other day I did wake up from sleeping and like I had almost what was Charlie horses in my legs. Um, and I remember getting those with Grayson. I would be sleeping and then all of a sudden I would wake up and all of a sudden I would have Charlie horses in my legs. Almost like I was like straining my legs while I was sleeping or something or like clenching them because that's usually what happens like, if I clench my legs for too long then that will bring on a Charlie horse so I almost got one the other day I was able to like relax my legs and my feet and then it was able to go away before it got too bad but I did notice that yeah I think that's kind of it for this week um 17 weeks um again stay tuned for the next video I will probably have gender reveal and let you know what baby is. We'll have a video of it as well. We're going to have uh, cupcakes and Grayson, our son, is going to bite into a cupcake and let us know what the color is on the inside. Anthony and I already know the gender. My mom also knows and Anthony's mom also knows as well. So there are a few people who know but for the most part everyone does not so very excited to let everyone know and to also let you guys know what gender of baby number two is. Um, leave a comment down below before you go watch that video um, what you think baby is going to be, boy or girl. It is not twins or anything like that. It is one baby. Um, so just let me know what you think and um, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.